I do think it's interesting that um, maybe I'm wrong because you've been reading a lot more modern comic books than me. And these are not the only two titles. I have read a few other things over the last uh, couple weeks. I see a lot of them kind of steering back towards more of a mainstream storytelling. Like where I, I see less politics, less Berkeley art school, less. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm seeing less of that. Now maybe I've just lucked into a few of them. I don't know. Is that it? Is it? Too, I mean, obviously, I think it's way too early to get excited or anything like that. But Grady, you see that because you've been doing this last couple of years. You see much of a shift in your opinion, or? Mm, a small one i would say a small one and it's it depends on what you read doesn't it pops i limit mm. myself to batman from dc and spider-man from marvel that's about it i keep mm -hmm. hearing about it's still there especially in a lot of the x-men titles that's what i've heard yeah, it's all it's saturated in the x-men titles right it's what i've heard it's yeah. just been yeah the latest one that i saw from dc was that awful relaunch of tim drake robin written by mm -hmm. some some terrible writer, Megan something mm -hmm. or other, I can't even remember her name, and they just emphasize his his uh, bisexualness, his gayness, that's the story, that's his personality now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't read the issue, we did a little breakdown of how bad the art was, I had Megan, uh, new reviews on, and we oh, I showed yeah. her the pictures, because she hadn't seen it, and I had sent her some 90s Robin, right, because she's, oh, yeah. she's new at this, right? And it wasn't anything special, but it was like to give her a little bit. And I said, I think I said one of those terrible annuals. Remember how bad some of the annuals were in the 90s? <laughs> I, said, I, I said, you have to have some compare and contrast. You know, you can't live in this lie like all of it was good. Let me send you one of these. So there was like a Robin annual. So this is, but I remember I, I tweeted her the photos. So I'm going to talk about this tonight. And she goes, what am I looking at? <laughs> and I went, mm. that's the same Robin in the comic books I sent you. And, I, and she just kind of like, yeah, what on earth? Is happening yeah so and you mentioned iron caster uh, and our show on tuesday talk hard iron caster yeah, yeah, was in the show so i did a, i did there's a way to make this landscape uh work for a short now i haven't figured that out yet but i i put it up as a short because it was funny he had a comment that the art for tim drake is so bad it looks like a a sponge that wasn't wrung out yet <laughs> i was like <laughs> Oh my god it's it's so distorted and like doesn't look right like stuff's just wrong with it right it's just messed up so you feel yeah you feel a little bit mean to say myself because you know i'm not as that good an artist at all but it's a guy called riley rosmo and he has a very distinctive shall we say style which i think is better suited to indie comics if you know what i mean you know it suits an indie story but it's not for a mainstream dc title like a batman or you know a robin title but that's just my opinion, Pops, you know, and uh, if I say that on Twitter, you know what happened there. Uh, I actually <laughs> tweeted at the guy and asked him to respond to me. Oh, nice. So that's in my video. There's a little clip out there of the uh, Tim Drake response guy. Like, And I basically just kind of left it. I just said thanks. But it was very clear because he didn't want to say it, but he danced all around. I think he calls, uh, he refers to Dick as having like a classic look. Mm. And D D Damien with like a more of a juvenile look, and then it, so basically he was trying to say Tim's got the gay look, but he didn't want to <laughs> say that. But that's what he was trying to say. He was like dancing all around. If I wanted him to be, you know, the boyfriend's in like weird skinny jeans, and it's all pastel. It's all that. It's Berkeley Art School. It's Berkeley Art School. It's kind of like the stereotype that we use here in the states now. It's like it's a perfect way to describe that. What used to end up at indie, and now it's in mainstream. Yeah. And it's yeah. So you're right. I mean, I I, I guess maybe I'm getting overzealous because I've looked into a couple. 